Hey everybody, it's Marcello back from Toyota World and I'm here in the back lot of Maple Toyota, our beautiful dealership, to show you guys some alloy wheel variation and options when you're going for the 2021 or to be the 2022 Toyota Highlanders, both in gas and hybrid. Uh, we have a lot of customers that are, you know, on the fence about going for the XLE. They don't know if they should do that or go up to the higher models, the, you know, XSE, the Limited or the Platinum. Uh, obviously for various reasons but one of them is the options on the vehicle versus the price tag and also a lot of customers are asking us our opinion on the alloy wheels well i'm going to give you my opinion on the alloy wheels on the xle trim just ahead in this video but before i do smash a thumbs up for this video and subscribe for constant cool videos of your favorite toyotas okay we have a highlander xle a highlander xse and stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. I think I have a limited here. Stay with me. Yes, I see a limited. All right. Here we have a limited Highlander 2021, guys. These are all 2021s for the Highlanders. 2022s are probably coming in about a month from now. Anyways, let's talk about the alloy wheels. So are these alloy wheels too small? Guys, the answer is no. <laughs> Aesthetically, come on. Aesthetically, it suits the vehicle. I think it looks fantastic. Yes, it's an 18 inch alloy wheel, but guys, there's a lot of SUVs out there uh, that have, you know, similar price tag to this Highlander right here that do not come with 18 inch alloy wheels. They come with 17 inch alloy wheels. So, you know, value, uh, what you're getting, what you're spending. I think this alloy wheel is perfect. Now you got to understand something. Take a look at this setup. Take a look at this setup here. And let's go back to the XSE for a second. All right, take a look at this setup here. You guys notice something? All right, there's a lot more tire wall here on this setup versus, you know, the XSE, the Platinums, the Limiteds. What does that mean? You're gonna have a little bit more of a, of a softer, cushiony ride when you're driving the Highlander XLE versus the XSE, the Limiteds, the Platinums, and so on, uh, because there's more tire here. There's more of a gap. There's more of a space here, uh, more of a cushion, I should say, um, to absorb impact, to absorb bumps, potholes, and so on. So in terms of comfort, you guys are getting a beautiful, comfortable ride when going with the Highlander XLE. Granted, yes, the alloy wheels are an 18 inch or not a 19 inch or a 20 inch, but still, they aesthetically look good. They look fantastic. Uh, the combination here of gunmetal gray with the silver alloy really makes the vehicle pop with any exterior color that you go with. So if you're gonna be deciding on Highlander trims between the XLE, the XSE, and the Limiteds and Platinums, don't make the alloy wheels be your deciding factor. Um, let it be something else because the alloy wheels are just fine as they are on this SUV. That's right guys. So. This uh, distance here from where the alloy wheel stops to where the tire stops, it's called an aspect ratio. And it's pretty similar, actually, actually it's the same on the XSE and the Limited. Uh, you're getting a 235-55, so that's the aspect ratio, the thickness here of the wall. It's a 55, so 235-55 R20, referring to the alloy wheel. So this is a 55 aspect ratio uh, versus something like the XLE, which does give you more space here. Let's see the XLE and what that gives you. All right, so here is the XLE alloy wheel. You are getting a 235-65. So this is a 65 setup aspect ratio on an R18 18 inch alloy wheel. So from a 55, you're getting a 65. That is a larger tire, uh, larger tire wall, uh, more space here, more chance of getting an absorption uh, or absorbing any impact uh, from the road 
to your tire and your traction and your overall feel when you're driving the vehicle. So definitely a comfortable drive when you're choosing to go with the XLE Highlanders. All right, so to sum it all up, guys, the XLE does have the larger aspect ratio on the setup. So that's gonna give you the larger, higher tire wall versus the limited XSEs and Platinums. So having said that, when you've got the larger tire wall or larger aspect ratio, you're gonna generally have a more cushiony, more absorbent, more comfortable ride. Not that this setup with the smaller tire wall will not be comfortable. It will be just a little bit more on the harsh side, but it will perform a little bit better on handling uh, in terms of taking sharp corners, etc. So there you have it. 